Hey, honeybees. This is Miss Henricks. I hope all of you are staying safe and keeping busy and working on your homework packets and your art packet and your art challenges that I have uploaded to Dojo for you. I'd love to hear from any of you and there's information about my email address on Dojo if you want to email me. I wanted to share a couple of books with you that are related to the Earth Day information that I uploaded yesterday. You'll recognize this right away as being related. I want you to see the pictures and listen to the ideas in this book and think about what it means to be an artist and what you have to do, what materials you really have to have to be an artist. Just give it a listen. It's called Anywhere Artist. It's by Nikki Slade Robinson. The subtitle is She Creates Art from Anything, Anytime. Look, I am an anywhere artist. I don't need paint or paper. I can make art anywhere. My imagination is all I need. I am a forest artist. I find fluffy lichen, twisted sticks, and smooth stones. I pick up lacy leaf skeletons. I can make anything I want. I am a beach artist. I collect salty shells. I shape sand. I spread curly seaweed out. I use driftwood, making it stand tall to cast long fingered shadows over my art. I am a rain artist. My feet dance ringlet patterns in the puddles. I squish oozy mud into silly shapes. I am a sky artist. I lie on the grass and make art inside my head. The clouds are my paints. My imagination is my brush. Sometimes my art fills the whole sky. I can make art anywhere. I can make art with anything. I bet you can too. So what will you make today? Now well, that's the end of that book. But I want to go back and take a quick look at a couple of the pictures because in my upload to Dojo, I talked about making earth art. And look at this kind of a pet she has made. It's made out of sticks for the legs and different kinds of leaves for the body. And it looks sort of dinosaurish a little bit. It's got kind of spikes along the back. And this is some kind of fern. The hair is made out of fern. And the face, I don't know what that is. But it's something she found outside. I think it's good to think about making art out of different kinds of things. So everybody doesn't have a whole shoebox full of fancy store-bought paints, brushes, and nice paper for painting on. But do you really need those things to make art? To me, I think the answer is no. You can make art out of anything. So just think about that a little bit. I'm going to upload this separately from the other book that's going to be coming along pretty soon. The next book is about honeybees. Talk to you later.